Hello everyone and welcome to part four of the Raylab 2D challenge. Now I was going to start giving little Scarfy an environment to walk around in, but I'm kind of pressed for time and I know I, I won't get that done in time to post this video this week. So I thought let's do the game menu instead because no game, computer game jumps straight into the game. There's always a place where you can choose when to start, maybe adjust the settings and all that. Uh, Raylib comes with a GUI library, a user interface library, and I think this is a good opportunity to try it out. At the same time, I have created a main menu scene class. Uh, this is just a skeleton. We'll be putting our menu code in here. And I've also reworked the main method so that instead of jumping straight into the Scarfy scene, it loads up the main menu. For some reason, Ray GUI, which is the user interface library we'll be using, doesn't have a section in the Raylib cheat sheet. Don't know why, um, but it's missing right now, which means I have to resort to using example code as documentation. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Now, Ray GUI is what's called an immediate mode user interface library, which means that the code that draws the, the menu and the code that reads the, the state of what, what the user clicked on is all in the same place. I know model view controller advocates will say that is horrible, that false code separation and all that sort of thing, but it's actually very easy to use. So let's get started. And the first thing we'll do is we'll say we want buttons with text aligned in the center. So let's put that in our draw method. What we're basically creating is a menu in the middle that has a start game button and an exit game button. And of course, you can add more, like in a, an about window or something, uh, a button for access and settings and all that. Uh, but for now, let's keep it simple. Just two buttons. We want them in the center of the screen with the, the text centered. And let's see what we can find here. So we want, actually, we don't want a text box. We want to create buttons. And then you can see what they've done here. If GUI button and they create a rectangle where the button is. And there's some text with an icon. Then it sets a flag. Let's just copy that in and modify it. What this does is this creates, this function GUI button creates a button with these parameters and it will return true if the user pushed the button. As I said, immediate mode GUI, a library, the um, code that generates the, or draws the main, the user interface is the same code that will tell you if the user pressed something or not. I suppose we can use that. We will need to find out what this, what other icons are available there. I assume there's one that's called exit. Let's build that and see what, just see what happens. Oh, we get lots of errors because we forgot to include the Ray GUI header file. The icon file save. Where do we get that one from? Let's have a look at what, what header files this example code uses. I've decided to drop the, the icons. I, I don't know where they're, where to get them from. So let's drop to plain text and try that out. Okay, still undefined reference to GUI set style and GUI button. I suppose that means I need to include the Ray GUI lib in, in the make file somewhere. Okay, I found it. So Ray GUI is designed to be a, a header file only library, but you need to define Ray GUI implementation somewhere in your code so that it will um, actually put the functions in. And, and while figured, so I put the fine Ray implementation in here just before calling this, uh, including RayGoey.h, and that brings in the uh, function, the missing functions. And at the same time, I found the icon definitions, the built-in icons, so I can use them. So let's see what that looks like. It still says this scene has no contact, content, add some actors or override. 
I better delete that from the parent class. But the, the quit button is here. Not where we want it, but the quit button's there. So I'll quickly go to scene and say it's okay for there to be no actors. So what we want to do is cause it to quit when the exit, the, the quit button is pushed. And this is something I never added to the scene. I didn't think about it when I created this. So let's just add a new method. So it returns true if the game should exit, if the program should quit. And by default, by default, that should return false, of course. In the main menu scene, it should return true if the user push the quit button. So we need a private variable, quit clicked. And we need to make sure we always initialize class variables in the constructor. And then here we replace this with quit click clicked equals true. And then also in here we need to add a quit variable. So while while not quit we do the the main loop, quit equals window should close, or the current scene says we should quit. So let's see if that, that uh, quit button is working now. Ah, so now do we have a working quit button? Yes, we do. Great, let's add the other button in. I was hoping that Ray GUI would would do the layout for me. I think that there probably is a way to do that. Uh, but anyway, let's let's put the other button in and just put it above that one. So we have a start game button, and we'll create a new new variable called start clicked as well. I've got no idea what the spacing is on. Oh wait, it's, it's 30 high, 30 high, so 255 minus, minus 30, let's go down to 220 for now. Start clicked. And this time what we want to do is remember that the update method, which does the animation in the scene, returns a new scene when it's, when it's time. So here, if start clicked, then we want it to return Scarfy scene. What this does is if the user clicks start, then we return a new Scarfy scene, which should make the main loop switch to displaying Scarfy. Let's see if that works. Let's start that. Start game. And yes, that's working. Nice. However, what's not so nice is that when I push the escape key, I don't go back to the menu. I just quit straight out. So let's fix that. There, there are two things that need to be changed. First, the default behavior window should close is to check the escape key. We want to change that. And I spotted here, yes, yeah, set exit key. And they set the exit key to zero. Um, doesn't look the nicest. Let's see if key null exists. It does. So now if I push the escape key, it doesn't do anything anymore. Next, I want to add a I want to add a check for the escape key. Because it's going to be quite a fundamental one. Well, let's add a new command to the command listener. Uh, let's let's call it exit. Exit. That's a bit better. And of course, now I have to create a default a default method that does nothing. Then there's going to, there's going to be a bit of, of jumping around in the source code and the source files here. The input handler needs to check for the escape key. So we'll create a new if is key down. I expect that we call key escape. So now, what did we call it again? Exit. Oh, let's call it do exit. 
be consistent. And now finally, we go to our Scarfy scene. Actually, maybe we, we put a, a default one scene in the, in the uh, root scene class. That way it doesn't matter what scene you're in, you don't have to repeat this code everywhere. In the scene, unless do exit is overridden, we should go back to the menu. Exit true. And then what we do here is if exit we return the menu scene and set exit back to false. Last thing is I need to include the main menu. And let's see if that works. So now I should be able to start the game and pushing escape will set me back to the menu, which is good. Now what we actually wanted to do is when I push escape in the menu that it also quits. We override the do exit in the menu scene. So when we're in the main menu on the do exit, we set the quit clicked flag, which is uh, not, not the best name anymore, but uh, that'll do. We can just rename it to quit. Now that it's no longer quit clicked, and quit equals true. So now does it do everything I want? I can start the game, I can push escape to get back to the menu, and oh, it reacts too fast. So maybe what I should do is go to the input handler and wait for the is key up event. So looking at the cheat sheet, there is an is key pressed. We don't want to keep reacting while the key is down. We just want to react when it's pressed. So let's try that again. Can Enter the game, push escape, and now can I push escape in the menu? Yes, I can, and it quits. So we now have a working menu. It is ugly, definitely not going to win any awards, but it works. I was going to leave it there, but I simply couldn't leave it that ugly. So I have cleaned it up, correctly centered and scaled, and it's even got the title there. Still won't win any design awards but it's a working game menu. I, th I think it'll be kind of neat to have Scarfy running around down the bottom there. But that is a task that I think I'll leave for you. This is, this is it for today. Um, I have to say, I think Ray GUI was a little harder to use than I thought it would be, but still not bad, pretty easy to get to this point. Uh, hopefully next time I'll be able to create the terrain on which Scarfy can run around. Until then, see you later.